well, you know, it's kind of like, let's hang on this, this like steep and high stuff for a minute. I'm seeing in the comments, people are kind of chit-chatting about rope and harness. Um, I do have a couple of things to say about rope and harness. And Guy, you may or may not agree. We probably agree. We agree on everything. Um, of course. <laughs> this is your show. So right. You're, you're going to agree. No, I'm just kidding. That. <laughs> <laughs> so I think rope and harness is, 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 a, is a pretty critical piece of equipment to have, um, especially for, for some companies that are going to pay extra if you use the, your rope and harness gear to, to access roofs, right? So if you're not wasting time trying to coordinate with a contractor or a ladder assist, if you just have the gear, um, some companies will pay a premium for that. Um, I have rope and harness gear. I've had it for over 10 years. I've used it six times in that time, right? And which I needed to use it on those roofs. And I could, could be argued that there's a handful of other roofs I probably should have used it on. Um, the, the, the main problem I have with rope and harness in that sort of scenario is, is that you go to the training, um, maybe you go to, go to pilot, take their training, or you go to the, there's just several other places that teach you that are kind of third party places. You learn the knots, they show you all the little gadgets, the ascenders and the gree and your harness and all this kind of stuff, right? Um, then you put that all in a big bag and you throw it in the back of your truck. And then there it sits, right, until 13 months later when you get deployed to Omaha. And then you don't use it all summer, you don't need it. And then, so then it's sitting for another 12 months, right? And then all of a sudden you got one and you're like, boy, I sure could use a rope and harness that I've had in my, my truck for 2.2 years now. I'm gonna break that sucker out and you know get the little gun that shoots the line over the thing. It's it's cool gadgets, right? The problem is, is that two years ago you knew how to make a figure eight, which is the, the knot that is your life depends on. But do you know it now, right? Did you remember it? You're sitting there trying to like figure out how to loop it through. Do you do I loop it over on itself? I can't remember, right? I I rock climb, right? And I still have to like go practice the knots and refresh myself on the knots if I before I go out. So what I tell people is, is like, yeah, absolutely, pay for the training, get it, because you can you can make good money with it, and you might use it a bunch in the summers, depending on where you're at, like if you're in Dallas or whatever. Um, but in the off season, or if you find you're not using it, have, I mean, I keep a little piece of cord and just practice that figure eight knot, that knot to save your life. If you do it wrong, you're dead, right? So that what what good did that rope and harness do for you, if Two, two years ago, you paid $1,000 for the training and 1000 bucks for gear, and then you, know, you can't remember how to make the knot. So you're just like, well, I think that looks right, and you tie it off, and next thing you know, you're laying you know, broken in the driveway. You know what I mean? So You're talking a lot about broken things. <laughs> it's, I'm not, I don't want to scare anybody off from this work, but it's, you know, it's, it's, this is one of the reasons why they pay us what they do is because it's dangerous number one, and number two, because we're gonna drop everything, if they call us and say, hey, go to Minneapolis, we drop everything and go, right? It's, we're on call, basically, so. Um, here's, my, here's my two cents worth on rope and harness. Sure. Um, I would say, if you have the opportunity to get rope and harness certified, by all means, do it. That opens up deployment possibilities that otherwise you would not have. Yeah. Right. I know that in my years of working for State Farm, um, the fact that I was rope and harness certified and two, they called it two story steep certified. Yeah. Right. The fact that that happened meant that I was called on storms on the first wave and usually there the last man standing because <clears throat> and not to talk bad about State Farm or anything, but a lot of State Farm staff adjusters won't climb anything above a 512. Right. So what would happen as an independent is we would go out to a storm and there'd be, you know, 10 staff adjusters and 10 of us independents and three of us had rope and harness. Well, we got all of those two-story steep roofs. Even like you said, they weren't that steep. We didn't need our rope and harness. Um, so having that, a lot of a lot of companies will pay you an extra hundred and fifty dollars. Yeah. <laughs> okay. So if I'm using my rope and harness, you're correct. In between, you need to know, remember how you use it. Um, again, I'm not trying to sell them, but I just know they work as a goat. Yeah. Right. So if I'm two story steep certified, and I'm getting called out on storms because of that. 
then I'm making an extra 150 bucks a pop to climb them. Um, I would, I, I'm not going to say this is an absolute, but I would say with a lot of these smaller IA firms, if you go out on a storm and you say, hey, look, I'm rope and harness certified. So all of your guys who are looking for a ladder assist, have them call me. Right? Yeah. Now you might be getting extra claims from some of these guys because they get reassigned to you and you're getting the extra 150 bucks. Yeah, yeah. Just, Plus, if you if you run around with a 28-foot ladder or a 32-foot ladder, same deal. Let your manager know. Say, listen, I, 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 I run with a 24-footer to extension ladder and I got a 32-foot ladder. And if anybody needs, you know, help up on a roof, I'm happy to go buzz over and meet them and, you know. Get some free tacos. Two hundred fifty bucks I charge. Oh yeah, yeah. Two hundred fifty dollars worth of tacos. Hey, hey, Mr. Insured, how's it going? It's going great today. How are you doing? <laughs> Good. This is actually Guy Grant from Veteran Adjusting School. So you want to learn claims from the most experienced veteran adjusters, but you can't find anybody who will let you ride along with them? Then let me tell you about Adjuster TV Plus. Developed by Adjuster TV and its industry partners, including the high-end training center Veterans Adjusting School in Arizona, Adjuster TV Plus is a growing library of in-depth training videos created just for independent adjusters. Learn scoping and estimating from professional trainers and adjusters. Learn how to handle customer interactions with confidence. Learn the ins and outs of scoping and estimating exterior hail claims. And coming soon, detailed videos about how to handle smoke, ice dam, water claims, and auto claims. Adjuster TV Plus also features the very best of three years of Adjuster TV's YouTube videos, ad-free. Educational, entertaining, and inspiring. Come ride along with us on Adjuster TV Plus.